Hello everyone. This is Shamsi Abdul Rasak, fifth semester BBA student, Department of Management Studies from E Content Development Center, Majlis Arts and Science College, Puramanu. Today we are going to discuss about tourism. As we all know that there are many definitions for tourism. One such simple definition for tourism is that tourism is a travel for pleasure or business. Also, the theory and practice of touring, entertaining tourists, the business of attracting, accommodating, and the business of operating tours. Now, let's discuss the types or categories of tourism. There are eleven types of tourism: leisure tourism, business tourism, medical tourism, cultural tourism, adventure tourism, wellness tourism, eco tourism, wildlife tourism, sports tourism, religious tourism, and other categories. Now, let's. Briefly discuss about what is leisure tourism. In simple words, leisure tourism means free time or not doing anything. Leisure tourism includes a holiday with the following: leisure activities, relaxation, sports activities, visiting places of interest and local attraction, visiting friends and relatives, shopping for goods. Now let's discuss about business tourism. Business tourism itself says the purpose of it. Travel for the purpose of business is called business tourism. It includes three sections: trading on goods to be resold on a wholesale basis, conducting business transactions like visiting client, negotiation of contracts, and the last section says about attending conferences and exhibition. Next is medical tourism. The purpose of this tourism is to receive treatment. People go worldwide for receiving treatments. This tourism includes services like medical facilitation, travel arrangements, accommodation and tour packages. Now let's see cultural tourism. It is called heritage tourism. It includes lifestyle and history of people, art, architecture, religion and other element. People come across from worldwide to India to see the cultural heritage, art, architecture and religion of our country. Next we can look at adventure tourism. It is an outdoor activity that generally took place in unusual remote or wild areas for example in sea mountain river one such locality for adventure tourism is goa now let's see wellness tourism it is one of the fastest growing international and domestic tourism it includes massages body treatment facial treatment exercises weight loss programs etc now let's see about eco tourism This tourism improves the well-being of local people. The purpose of this tourism is to educate the traveler about the natural destination, to provide ecological conservation and awareness, to provide economic development, etc. Now let's see about sports tourism. It is the international travel of viewing or participating in sports events. For example, players come across worldwide to participate in Olympics. Now let's look at religious tourism. it is called faith tourism it includes visiting to holy places for tourist attraction and missionary works for example visiting holy places like church temple masjid etc now let's discuss about wildlife tourism it is the observation of wild animals in their natural environment it includes photography viewing and feeding of animals now let's discuss about other categories of tourism slum tourism agri tourism luxury tourism geo tourism etc slum tourism is the tourism in which people visit slum areas agri tourism means people visit agricultural fields etc now let's discuss about reason for increasing tourism there are six reasons for increasing tourism increase in income more leisure time mobility growth in government security programs and government benefits growth of business tourism motivation now let's discuss about the reasons of increasing in income disposable incomes are increasing and it allows more money for leisure travel more women are entering into work nowadays firms are hiring more and more women to the organization there is a reduction in cost of travel nowadays traveling cost is very cheap we can travel by bus train bike or any other transportation now let's discuss about more leisure time the another reason of increasing tourism 
is more leisure time. Today, the organization focuses more on human rights and leisure in work. Employer provides employee a free atmosphere. There is an increase in pay. The organization provides employees an increment. In development countries, employees provide a paid vacation time. Now let's discuss about mobility. Due to transportation and communication development, mobility increased in the world. Now let's discuss about the growth in government security programs and employment benefit. It engages people to spend more for travel. Now let's discuss about another reason of increasing tourism, growth of business. Today business are increasing and firms are increasing more and more. So do the traveling also. The business travelers contribute a large to tourism. Business tours, conferences, resorts, conventions etc. are common in tourism. The last reason of increasing tourism is tourism motivation. There is an increasing demand for tourism in every sector. Steady tour, business tour, religious trip are common now. Government put much attention to tourism motivation as tourism is a part of developing country. So we are winding now. Today we discussed about the topic tourism, types and categories of tourism and reasons of increasing tourism. Hope you understand. Thank you.